Hey guys, spring is in the air, and you guys know what that means. I'm in the mood for tuna noodle casserole with homemade egg noodles. Thought I might check out my aquarium, with, my aquarium with you guys. There's my fish. He's over there chilling. Time to drain the noodles. Ooh, looking good. And also time to put them in the mixing bowl. Ooh, looking good. And for stirring, stir the noodles in good. And time to put that finished tuna noodle inside the uh, dish for baking. Look at that, that is looking real awesome. Tuna noodle is one of my favorites. In case you guys did not know. And that's why I'm so excited for it. So too bad I couldn't find no corn. So this is going to have to be without corn. But we cannot forget our salt and black pepper. Can't forget some of that good old mozzarella cheese to put on top as a garnish. Or kind of protect the noodles from the oven. Don't want them to get too crispy, right? Now that looks like it's about ready to put in the oven. Okay guys, I'm going to slip it in the oven. You have to be very careful with this part. And leave your suggestions and comments down below on if I should make an entire video on how to make them good noodles. And I'll leave that in there until the top is crispy browned. And while that's baking, let's make some good treats for our chickens. This will be a frozen treat just for them. Put that cream of corn in there. See, I opened this and I didn't read the label. And it said cream of corn. I thought it was just going to be normal corn. And in that goes, we add some water and some kitchen scraps. Time to mix it well. Since I have the cheese out, I'll just put a little bit of cheese in there too. Just for some good little taste. And I'm going to put it in some little cupcake trays. Just so then it'll have little like cupcake shaped treats frozen for them. Oh, I can just see them mowing down on this already. You know what I forgot, guys? I forgot to spray the pan down for my tuna noodle. So if you guys are trying to make this at home, do spray the pan down. I'm just doing this so I don't die of boredom waiting for that uh, tuna noodle to get done. So if you guys don't have chickens, you guys can make other things. Maybe even little frozen treats for yourself. These are treats that I just kind of like made up on hand. And I'm just going to get that all in there. Let me spread that out off camera. Time to put it in the freezer. Boom, the chickens are going to love me for this. And we got two minutes left on the timer. It might look like five minutes since it's backwards on the selfie mode. And I thought I might check out on some of the plants on my windowsill. I got those two avocado trees and that big sweet potato plant. You guys can probably see my biggest avocado plant. That's just the top of it. Those are the big leaves compared to my hand. Look at those. Massive, massive. Almost time to get it out. Okay, guys, it's time to get it out. I'm going to get my trusty oven mitts on. And into the oven. Oh, wait. This is looking good. Close the oven up, turn it off, and time to enjoy. First we gotta let it cool down. You know what guys, it can cool off on my plate. <laughs> Stuff is looking so good, I think I might just get some off right now. Yeah, oven it on. Oh my god guys, this is looking so good. Oh 
my goodness, this is looking so good. Oh my goodness, guys. Comment down below if you guys are true needle fans. This is amazing. I'm gonna test, test. Ha, huh, that's hot. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm definitely making a separate video on uh, how to make these egg noodles. Can you guys believe this is my second time ever making these noodles? I've never ever made noodles before. I've always used them um, prepackaged noodles. So the prepackaged noodles are a little bit more convenient to use. These noodles take about an hour to make. The other noodles, you just buy it from the store. Mmm. I think I'm going to eat this whole entire thing on camera. It's so good. That is truly amazing. You guys need to comment. Should I get back doing TikTok? Because I haven't posted a video like since Christmas. Long time, a few months. See, the reason I kind of left TikTok, the videos were so addicting. I would waste like hours of my life scrolling through on these trash videos. I'm like, My brother would always get on there and follow all these, like, weird toy review videos. Well, even on my YouTube, I gotta go through and unfollow all these people. Can you guys see my unibrow? Oh, it was very visible on camera. It is in person. I'm gonna get that waxed off soon. Probably this Tuesday. I need my up brow, down brow, all over the place. Right here, my willy worm. Let's go check on them chicken treats. Okay guys, it's devoured. Time to go check on those chicken treats. So the chicken treats are not ready, but we got some ham. Okay girls. Whoa. <laughs> Time to let those girls out and open the cage. Time to open it. Boom. Some of them are more enthusiastic to come out, but it seems like they're more occupied with that ham. And shout out to this vintage mower. This thing is awesome. It's really old. Probably pre 1930s, maybe from the 20s. It's got a maker's mark, but I'm in selfie mode, so this might be all backwards right there. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's printed on the wood. Looks like someone wrote their name, ED, right there. 
And this thing is just awesome. What an awesome real-time mower. So I actually have a mower collection. That's like one of six real-time mowers I own. I really like my real-time mowers. They're so awesome. But you guys know what I think is much cooler. My chicky babies. So guys, the egg-bound chicken. I'm thinking she got through it. She is doing pretty good. I'm with them right now. And they are just living the life, eating the grass. They eat a lot of grass, trust me, guys. Um, so the egg bond chicken is doing fine. You guys can see her in that bunch. Um, one of one of the yellow ones, the golden ones, whatever you guys want to call them. And they are just so adorable. I can't get over that. This is probably my fifth, sixth year of care taking care of chickens. I'm still learning stuff about them. Not every day, but almost every week, you know? These are just, like, the best pets I could ever really ask for. I have a little aquarium. I got some guinea pigs. I even have some... I even have a worm farm. And I do have lots and lots and lots of plants. But these guys beat them all. And that just about sums up my video. Hi, General. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe for my next video, which is coming out probably oh, 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 today, tomorrow, sometime soon. I just went on vacation on the charger at the hotel. It had a hard time charging and kind of pooped out on me. And so that's why I didn't post videos for the past four days or so. Um, so I'll hope to get posted much more soon. Well, actually, right now. We've posted almost every day. And it's looking good. So I'll see you guys later. Brush Monson out.